Are you looking for information on Prince Edward Island weather? Join the boat. It is the most popular search I could find using the Google keyword tool connected with the words Prince Edward Island. It appears everybody wants to know about the weather. Maybe that's because the weather can change on a split moment or because of the misinformation that media has spread across the world every time we have a bad storm every hundred years or so. I'm going to cover all that in this video and then I'm going to give you a phenomenal tool for investigating properties, school zones, waste watch programs, all that sort of stuff. So that will be at the end. So number one, the best source of information in my opinion for PEI weather is the uh, Canadian government, Environment Canada. So I'm going to include the, the link for that in the description below. Secondly, I'm going to give you some charts of what our actual weather looks like in reality based on factual data, which is what I always prefer to use when I do any research at all for real estate or otherwise. I can also share with you uh, another site that's going to give you basically an overview of the year uh, that was done by a, a media company. I can't remember if it's CNN or somebody else. So I'm going to include that in the description below. I can tell you that, and that you're going to find this really surprising, the media is sensationalistic and they love drama. So when we had 200 year storms, those were every 100 years. Unfortunately, we had one back to back, two years in a row. But they made it look like we get 40 feet of snow every year. And the fact is, we don't. The winters here are typically like any other place that has winter in Canada. You're on an island, so you're gonna get higher winds. Uh, but other than that, it's the same stuff. We do have a number of weather systems on the island, west, central, and eastern. Eastern's more like Cape Breton. Um, the center seems to just sort of follow what Ontario and Quebec does. And a lot of those terrible storms you see in Boston, New York, Long Island, Nantucket, Cape Cod, they miss us and end up out in the ocean on their way to Newfoundland. Sorry, Newfoundland. So I'm gonna include those links below. The other thing you can do when you drive around and you're curious about winds, stuff like that. Look at the trees. If the trees are growing on a 30 degree angle, you probably have a really high wind spot. If there's windmills all around you, chances are there's high winds. If wind is a concern, there is a wind map online at the government website at gov.pe.ca. So check that out. Feel free to, in the comments, ask me any questions about PEI, real estate, PEI in general, Anything you want to know about the island, I'm happy to help. In the meantime, I'm going to include a fourth link that's going to show you the most awesome mapping tool that's ever been created in the history of PEI. It's free. The government put it together. I use it almost every day. And it's a great tool to see property lines, aerial photos with property lines, measuring property lines, seeing what's around the property. You can type in addresses, property ID numbers. So check that video out. Have a great day and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this and PEI tips, tricks, and traps. Have a good day.